Well, welcome viewers. In Australia, in the state of Victoria, Jacinta Allen uh, thinks that men are dysfunctional. Twenty-four. The officer responded to a store following a report of theft. The initial report indicated that an item had been stolen, but specific details were unclear. Upon arriving, the officer's task was to investigate the situation thoroughly. Thank you. What you've got to understand, viewers, is a lot of these mothers try and idolize themselves with their children. The children follow along, and it's not until later in life, hopefully, that these children realize the mother's a hoax. The officer began searching the suspect as part of the investigation. The officer then proceeded to enter a room where a woman was sitting with her son, who had a broken arm. The presence of the injured child might have raised additional concerns or questions for the officer. When the officer began investigating the woman, she was crying and pleading to be let go. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Out. You need to finish it now. What you'll find is they drag these children along, trying to convince them that it's the right way to go about life. This is stealing. And it's not. I'm gonna come home, you understand me? This is not your fault. Sarah, right? Yes. Okay, I'm Deputy Shaker, okay? Um, so, I just gotta read you this real quick before I ask you anything, alright? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you bring a question. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I read them to you? Okay, what happened today? So just before we continue, you've got to understand that sinful behavior brings injury. You can see that there's an injury on this child. We don't know what's caused it. We can only speculate. But we need to understand that sinful behavior always brings industry, industry injury always obviously i'm just getting here so i didn't talk to anybody else except for you her emotional state suggested distress and a possible sense of injustice or fear the officer would need to assess her claims and situation carefully balancing her request for release with the need to address the theft and any other concerns related to the ongoing investigation the woman consistently denied any involvement in criminal activity insisting that she was simply there to pick up food um my son's birthday was this weekend mm -hmm. and um it's been an exciting weekend and uh I, I... what you'll see is a lot of these people will use their children to try and justify their behavior but it's not justifiable um and they're really this this is how it becomes generational you hear in the Bible and other uh, texts, ancient texts, that um, these problems become generational. Well, you can see the parent has involved the child in this stealing. Uh, and this is teaching the child that the way to solve things is through stealing. That becomes generational. It gets passed on to the next generation. Now... If the child black sheeps itself and says, no, I'm not going to live like mummy or daddy, uh, which is not all that common these days, it um, seems to be easier just to go along with the narrative and become what they are, um, they can break away, but it's not very common. I spent a little money and um, he got hurt today on the uh, tutor. And 911 came to our house, picked him up, took him to the emergency room. Um, he cracked his elbow. And what, ha what happened once he got here? Once we got, uh, he cracked his elbow and we left the hospital. And now, 
know, viewers, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide, but does this woman seem like she's sedated or on some kind of drug to you? Most certainly does to me. If you want, do you have somebody that can come pick him up? He's coming. Yeah, sorry. Okay, do you want to wait until your son's on here and we can talk after that? No, it's just me and him. Okay. It's just me and these two boys. Okay. Okay, so these parents, these usually single mothers, as she said, it's just me and him, they'll usually try and keep the bond between the children via victim mentality. Okay, the mother's going to make out she's been forced to break the law as a necessity to be able to live. And in the child's mind, this will justify that mum must have made the right decision. But mum hasn't. She's made the wrong decision. We're having your own. It happened today. It just happened like two hours ago. I think we came here to get food from that when we left the hospital. So, I know she's already talked to you, but I've talked to her just a, just a touch. Um, so, what, what did you, we know you stole items. That's not really in question. So, what did you steal? Cat food, chicken. I just want to say something interesting. A lot of these single mothers, parents, things like this, they have pet cats, ferrets, lizards, um, reptiles, rabbits, uh, dogs. They'll have dogs. And this woman's come out to get cat food and chicken she's prepared to steal for the cats which means she shouldn't have them because she can't afford to uh, and what will happen is if this woman meets a man that really suits her and is pleasing to her she'll abandon all that she'll abandon all that she'll abort all that she'll let all that go she'll ab abandon the child and all the rest of it um, to meet her desires and lusts through the new boyfriend. But you can see there's drugs involved, there's some kind of substances or something involved because the way her countenance is and her communication skills, they're not normal, are they? And it's clear to see. There was same things that weren't seen. Um, so did you just steal food items? Yeah. Oh, so are those the things you stole? And why and why did we do it today? Sorry. 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 So this is all over $64.93. I can guarantee that she's probably spent all the money on drugs and silly things and, and nonsense. And this kid would be aware of that. He'll end up the same unless he becomes a black sheep and goes, this is not the way I want to live. I'm not going to live like this. Mum's wrong. Sometimes they just go together. Let me get someone else to notarize and we'll get that back. I need this. Despite her repeated claims, a few officers were actively searching through her luggage to determine if any stolen items were present. They also checked her receipts to verify if she had paid for her purchases. Meanwhile, another officer was trying to reassure the woman, telling her to calm down and promising that justice would be served. Despite these efforts, the woman remained in a highly emotional state, crying and expressing her distress. I just want to say, viewers... <laughs> This happens because they don't resolve anything. They get deeper and deeper and deeper until they end up in jail because they just don't resolve anything or they end up alone um, because they don't fix anything. They don't make these steps to get rid of the things that are causing the problems in their lives. <laughs> Your whole bag is just going to go with them. These won't be on the go with her. You can write them down and let the children on people. 
Okay, another thing you can see, a lot of these women have mental health issues and they're medicated. And this is an on flow from addictions and substance abuse. And the key word, viewers, is unresolved. They just don't resolve the things that they need to and they keep trying to push through life carrying all this unresolved and it doesn't work. In their purse, yeah. In the nursing mm -hmm. store. Okay. So that's the new one they sent me. They sent you a new one? That's good. But, I, but it doesn't seem to offer. So I'll sit up for help with a shoplifting case. Mm -hmm. She comes running up to me with a knife stuck to her finger. And I was like, okay. yeah, like it was like pinched on her finger. She's trying to close it. And I was like, if I take that off, it's going to tear. So I had to call rescue. I have to come and do it. All right. So that is going to go with let me say guys a lot of these medications and substances and alcohols and things they become the priority and these people um, run out of money this is the stuff that you pay for that has been paid for correct are you okay with this going with, with your son your bag and this stuff yes it's just in my to be quite honest the son's not the son's lucky he's not getting um, charged as an accomplice uh, okay. I think the case yeah. in the bag, so. in the bag. Okay. what's your first name buddy I have it already okay, so. okay so let this guy take part yeah are you okay with it yeah be a good dude yeah because right. if I need to fight him let me know I'll fight him <laughs> I'm joking I'm not going to fight him Look at the dog. His dog's probably the meanest. Yeah. So, <laughs> what happens? Um, Am I going David or should I do? Well, real quick, who is coming to pick him up? If you look at the woman, she's definitely high. She's definitely on something. That's not normal, is it? And this is the underlying problem again a lack of unresolved, trying to cure few through substances. You can see it a mile away. So, if you are both saying it's okay, then I'm with The substances take the money, this leads to stealing and other desperate decisions, and this is where you end up. Have you already spoke to Jeff? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you imagine the trauma and um, brokenness that gets under this little child? Decisions on my part, not anything to do with my son. But he's going to be lucky because he is an accomplice. Can I do that? Can I don't know why, I here. <laughs> so the son's going to be the little husband, the man of the house. This is all abuse, by the way. This is all bad parenting. What they would call this mother is, in psychology terms, is a dead mother. Vaknan's work, a dead mother, because she hasn't and isn't raising this child in a positive, wise way. Oh <laughs> God, just please let me pay for this. Please, God, let me pay for this. I'll, uh, when, when someone comes and picks him up, um, we'll, we'll talk, okay? So now we're in regret. She's calling out for God. Please let me pay for this. Um, but this is what sin does. This is what sin will do. It'll lead you up saying, come and look at the view on the top of this cliff. It's lovely, isn't it? And it tempts you, you fall into it, and then it pushes you over the cliff. Not barely, it's just me and these boys. <laughs> that work two fucking jobs. I think, I think Hartley's on the... Yeah, <laughs> And now she's crying the victim. Yeah. Can I go the truck? Yeah, I said. Just one second. He's just making a call. So is there a chance that she's not going to go? I don't know what he's doing right now, but like I said, I'm going to have to talk to her. Yes, there's some... 
there's some other factors that I need to talk about with your mom, okay? Yeah. Despite her emotional appeals, the officers followed procedure and arrested her for the theft. Meanwhile, they arranged for her child, who had a broken arm, to be safely returned to their home. But just think for a minute what would be running through that child's mind, the solutions that he might be trying to find and how he's going to explain this to everybody. That's just not right, it's not fair. Take, take a minute, I, I'm not even going to try to say that I understand or, you know, because... And of course now she's on the ground praying to God, I mean this is desperate times, desperate measures. I'll explain after you have a minute, okay? No, I mean, the money goes to jail. The rest of fucked up on drugs. So, I'm not the clean to me. That's, I mean, and obviously, your son loves you so much. And I can tell you right now, Deputy Schmidt and I, like, our hearts are breaking right now doing this. Because if there were extra factors. Wait, no, the past facts. No, no, no. Are you on probation? between the probation and then you have a non-extraditable warrant. Okay, so she's on probation, she has warrants, so that she's had it, she's, um, she's had it. But when we have factors like that, I can't, but that's the I'm between the probation, that's felony. But there's nothing else that you guys think I did, right? No. Okay. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, take a moment, okay? I'm gonna tell you, I'm being so serious with you. If I had the option to let you go, <laughs> I would give you a court date and call it a day or forward charges to the state and let the state decide. But because of the failure to appear and you being on felony probation, I have to. Because this is literally breaking my heart right now watching this. And this is not what I would choose to do. The woman was eventually presented in court where she faced charges of grand theft related to the store incident. And this is how it ends up. They don't resolve anything. They don't fix anything. And it just gets worse and worse until everything overtakes them. They're totally self-unaware. They're not aware of what they're doing to their children. Uh, and it just ends bad. Sinful behaviour always ends bad. I'm Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist. My grandson's just turned up. I'll go and spend some time with him. Bye for now.